Hello, my name is Kainson Munoye, the application developer, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect NetBeans IDE to Microsoft Access 2010 database. So follow along, and I'm sure you are going to find it very, very easy. I'm not going to skip any step at all. So go ahead to create a database in Microsoft Assets. I use Assets 2010 on my system, Microsoft Assets 2010. So here, file name, um, I give the database the name. Let's call it uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, okay, let's call it next. I'm sorry for that. Let's call it NetBeans Tutorial. Okay, NetBeans Tutorial, I want to save in my drive C. You can actually save anywhere in your system. So I save in a folder called application there in my drive C. So I go ahead to create. So we have table one, I right click. I like working in the design view. And I have this table one, I'll call it TBL students, TBL students. Okay, so uh, I create a field, is the primary key, student ID, first name, so name, department, and uh, email okay that's just fine and uh, all of them should be test so I go ahead to save and right now I would like to add some data I open I'll add my name first kind son is my name Munonye is my son name computer science K M C O. Okay, let's see. Kind son. This is not my correct email address. Uh, you can check the website to get my email address at yahoo.com. Okay, that's just fine. I'd like to add uh, my friend's number. And that is a uh, uh, Mecca. And he's in computer engineering and a maker at yahoo.com. Okay, this is fine. So I go ahead to save. So that is step one. We have three steps. I would like to outline these three steps. In notepad so that you can follow along we just completed step one step one create a Microsoft assess data base step two create a data and ODBC data Data source. Step three connects uh, next beans to the data source you create. And this is just that. So this is done. So now we go ahead to create an ODBC data source. So how do we do that? Come to control panel and you go to uh, system and security. Actually, we are going to administrative tools. I have here data source ODBC. Now, this is very important. Here you have user DSN, system DSN, and file DSN. You must choose a uh, system DSN for it to work, for NetBeans to recognize it. 
So I go ahead and click on System DSN and I click on Add. I go to choose Microsoft Access Driver and Finish. It tells me to select a data soft, a database. So remember, I saved in Drive C inside the application folder and I call it NetBeans Tutorial, and that is just that. So I now give it a name. Let's still call it the same thing: NetBeans Tutorial. Okay, and that's just fine. And then I say OK. OK. NetBeans tutorial uh, data source has been created. So let's go back to our checklist. I've completed step two. Done. OK. I now go ahead to step three. So now I want to open NetBeans IDE. I have it here on my desktop. Right click and open. takes a while to start, so um, it's done, it's open. Let me just show you how you can create an application in NetBeans IDE, although it's not very important for this tutorial, but let's just do it. Choose new project, Java, Java application, next. Uh, let's call it NetBeans tutorial. I leave the default setting for the project location and the project folder is creating the main class for me, this, and I just go ahead to finish. Create a new project and it's done. New project is created, source packages is there and the libraries. So now the work. We want to now connect NetBeans to the Microsoft Access database we created. So we come to services, we come to databases, and you click on drivers. You click on right click on JDBC ODBC bridge and say connect using. So here you see DB. So this is where I enter the name of my data source. This is same data source I created. That means tutorial in that name. So I just test test connection. Uh, NetBeans, okay, it was two words, so I just give the space there, and I test connection, connection succeeded, you can see, okay, nice, there's no schema, so I just go ahead to click on finish, so how do I know I connected, so here you see, JDBC, ODBC, NetBeans tutorial, just take on this, so I drop down, I can see, this NetBeans tutorial, the second one here. So where is my table? So I have tables here, drop down. As you can see, the student's table we created in assets. So how do I know that I have my data there? So just right click and say view data. And automatically it creates uh, the SQL statement, select staff from TBL student. And here you can see my name and my friend's name there in the table. So this is basically how we uh, connect Microsoft as a database to uh, NetBeans IDE uh, 7.1.2. In fact, any version of NetBeans. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, once again, my name is Kainton and I hope this video has been informative for you.